Now, what we want to do is we open up our instrument of choice. You could use any instrument you like. And then over here, you've got your audio effects and you've got MIDI effects above it. This wasn't something I've ever really used that much before, um, but obviously now I'm using it quite a bit. Um, and the program, it comes up in audio units, Everbeat or Everbeat. Not sure how you pronounce it. And then click on Melody Source. And then this really simple looking interface is going to show up. So the one thing I didn't look at just was um, D flat major, D flat major. So what we want to do is go over here and find D flat major, hit that button to make sure it's in the correct key. And um, you should change it up there too and for your vocals and stuff afterwards. And then what we want to decide is whether we want um, slow or fast melody. We want it to be a lower octave as it is, or a higher octave. Whether we want any swing on it. Um, do we want it in triplets, syncopation, on or off? Typically, I've been going with this kind of setup and then just toggling between fast and slow. Um, and then I'll show you what these do in a second. So let's just simply select slow. We're going to have um, octave above. Of these off syncopation on, and we're just going to simply hit. Uh, let's go with light and simple. And if you don't like what you hear, you just hit it again, and you'll see that it's created a second one. That sounds pretty cool, but what we can also do is we can hit legato so they be extended notes. And if we hit mid or harmonize, you've got the high harmony. Let's say that that's the one I want to use. I simply drag and drop. Now, sometimes the algorithm will come up with things that are brilliant and you're probably going to want to just use them as they are. But if there is, and this has happened to me a lot using it, there's been like the odd note or two um, that has just been in the wrong place. And what's great about this tool is because it's MIDI, you can simply just jump into it and just start moving things around as you see fit. So let's have a look. There's one note just around here somewhere, I think. Hang on. That one there. So in the end, all I actually ended up doing was extending the note um, because it just, I didn't know, there was like a little pause in there that was even making it not sound right to me anyway. Um, so now, I'm going to drag that back as well. And then obviously that would just loop and continuously. Um, You have got the option of, if you like, just the first half. You could just have the first half and then you could um, just copy it. So you could do that.
I think that actually sounds better. So then what we would do is um, say you've done that, um, a couple of things you could do, obviously, to build up the track. But what I want to do now is just have maybe just something else um, as a sort of counter melody, um, which is something you see a lot of people do. Um, and we'll just go with something really bog standard for now, like the piano. Again, just to keep things simple, I've just changed the wrong one. So I'm just going just gonna to duplicate this and change that to a piano. Um, and then I'm just going to open up Melody Source on this again. Um, and then for this one, I'm going to go light, but I'm going to go complex and I'm going to go fast. Um, let's just make sure that we've got the key selected again. And let's see what this comes out with. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Closer. If you like when it plays there, but you don't like the styling, you can change the note swap to dark. Change the octave. Okay, um, again, that could, you know, work. I'm just trying to do this quickly just to show you, but, you know, you very quickly come up with a sort of a main melody and a counter melody, like pretty quick. Now, obviously, you can tweak these to your heart's content. You can do whatever you like to them, so. Considering we've only literally just been on the program just like a few minutes, I think that just shows you exactly what is it, the potential of this is. Um, I've had some really, really good results with it. I mean, in fact, I'm going to carry on with this beat um, now and get it finished. Um, I actually think there's something I could do with this. I mean, it's going to take a bit of tweaking, but definitely can get there. So who is it for? I think it's for new producers who maybe don't play every instrument. I'm more of a guitarist. I don't really play keys. Um, so I'm not great with keys. Um, if I was going to do a melody, I would typically do it on guitar. If I was going to do a melody, I would typically do it on guitar. Um, I wouldn't do it on piano. So this is certainly a help for me. Um, I, I would 100% recommend it for people that don't play. If you do play, um, but maybe you're just trying to come up with something quick or you're just writing a song, then I'd recommend it for you also because obviously it can help speed up the writing process. And the only of a sort of subgroup, then it's really the people who are buying beats currently. And um, this could be really valuable. Uh, a lot of people I know who are buying beats don't play any instruments at all. They rap or they sing, but they don't play any instruments. Well, these kind of little things here could save you a lot of money. When you consider that this costs £39 to buy, or you can go out and pay £25 a lease of a beat or £250 to exclusively buy a beat, and that's every single song that you do, um, then learning how to use something like this and getting your head around, um, you know, music theory as well, like because it's still important to learn it because you need to understand what goes with what. Uh, these chord packs can help you out as well. I've tested them. I'll do another video on that shortly. Uh, but as you can see, you can come up with something pretty quick on the fly um, and I mean that's took me 12 minutes and that's with me explaining it at the same time so my overall view of Melody Source is it's very good I've had some brilliant results with it I would highly recommend it to people of any level and I include professional producers in that category as well because even as a professional I'm sure there's going to be times when you're going to have you know just draw a blank or you can't come up with something on at that present time you could then put that in. And even if you don't use it, it might spark an idea for you going forward.